nurses, doctors, jobs, things like that. You got a budget deficit? How about making rich people pay taxes? Even in America, sometimes if they admit Greece exists at all, Thank <laughs> you. 
and CNN and all the others try to distract people, keep them from revolting, focus, you know, focus their anger the wrong way. Oh no, it isn't the rich people who stole all your money. Oh no, austerity is the scam. It's all because of the Mexicans. It's all because of the immigrants. Everything will be wonderful if you all shut up as you lose your job and hate brown people.
afraid of the golden dawn. But a lot of the people who are voting for those assholes are voting because they're scared, they fell from a bunch of the panic land shit.
I said earlier, the best way to fight the hiddenness and the violence of neo-Nazis when we start repackaging themselves, we are not monsters. We're just trying to work for a stronger country. We're just trying to keep the neighborhood clean. Fighting violence with violence is just going to make it way, way, way fucking worse. And I originally wrote this song against violence in the punk underground scene. People jumping off the stage, hitting somebody, and running away like a chicken shit. Maybe they were cops. I don't know. But then, as the song spread, people who have been through real dictatorships, meaning anything from communism to Papadopoulos to Argentina, whatever, they adopted the song as an anthem
Again, I wish I knew Greek, but I don't, so I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry. Can someone translate? Nazi shit at us. Now are you? No, you're not, right? Good. Yeah, leave a little more light on the crowd. Even a little more like that, because I can actually see people. But yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's keep it that way so I get to see everybody. You know, it's weird to know there's all these people out here that can't see you and stuff. It's all dark. So now, since Greece, the money is going away, the jobs are going away, and I don't or something and treat those people even worse. So I'm guessing that a lot of you do not have money to come buy a plane ticket to America. Especially not to buy an airplane ticket to go to Florida so you two could be at the most important event in the world. Ha ha ha! The Republican Party Convention. So instead, we are bringing the Republican Party Convention to you. When the TV cameras were off, all those right-wing fuckwits and Bush and Romney lovers and greed mongers and Tea Party jackasses all rose up to sing the Republican Party's anthem, the theme song. So we're bringing it to you right now.
to tomorrow. Something is happening here that I wish would happen more often in America, but Americans can't even think of the whole concept of one of my favorite ways of fighting the power, General Strike. Yeah. How many of you go under the General Strike? That's not that many of you. The rest of you going to stay home and catch up on your email or play video games or watch football or something like that? Come on, people. You won't be like that if you lose your fucking job. But those of you who go to the General Strike, above all, I wish you to stay safe. Away from violence, from the police, away from violence, from thugs who start breaking things and setting fires just so they can get the police to come in. Anti-corporate coup!
not see them, you made a big mistake. They're one of our favorite bands we play with in Europe. And thank you to No Mind. Turn for No Mind. And a thank you from me to the Montano School of Medicine. Let's hear it for the Montano School of Medicine. On guitar, making angel wings in imaginary snow. This is Ralph Spike.
if you want to. 